everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and it's my birthday tomorrow. Um, Jeremy's taking me away for the night. The only thing I know is that it's 40 minutes away. We're staying overnight and we've got something planned for tomorrow. I have no idea where we're going, what we're doing or anything. So we're currently in the car driving there. Um, we're on a very empty road so don't worry about like the concentration, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're doing and it's Jeremy's loving it because he's keeping it a secret. And he loves the fact that I'm just like, what should I pack? What are we doing? Are we going to be outside or inside? What do I need? So I've packed literally underwear, another t-shirt and jumper for tomorrow, um, a swimming costume. Jeremy said we might need, we might not need. One minute, I need to look behind you. But apart from that, I don't know what we're doing. So it's going to be a surprise for me. Um, so when we get there, I'll obviously get Jeremy to try and vlog my reaction. But it's a 40 minute drive, so we'll be there soon and I'll be able to let you know where we are and try and vlog. I want to vlog a little bit, but not too much because it's my birthday. I haven't relaxed in like four months. So I kind of want to chill, but I also want to document it because it should be quite nice. So we'll see you there anyway. So we are in the Lake District, we're still on the road. Um, we're about 17 minutes away, but we're in the Lake District, so that's going to be lovely because I love coming up here, especially because we're going to have nice weather this weekend. So. I'm excited. We'll be there in about 15 minutes. So we're in Grange over Sands. I don't think I've ever been here before. And we're coming to oh, cry big hole. Oh, yeah. Netherwood Hotel <laughs> Hotel and Spa. This looks lovely. The hotel looks amazing. I'll show you when I've parked up. So we've just parked up. Um, I'm sorry about the vlogging <laughs> that, that Joan has been doing. It didn't have my microphone and also we were driving so you'd have like the car noises, but we've just parked it up. We're at Grange Over Sands at Netherwood Hotel and Spa, which sounds lovely. The hotel looks incredible. And we're basically just by the beach. So I think we're gonna like obviously get into the hotel, check our bags and things, have a walk around, and then maybe go for a walk this afternoon. So let me show you the building, it looks incredible. So this is the hotel that we're staying at. It looks like a bloody castle. Look at all the cool, um, wow. And then over there, I think you can just about see through the trees is the ocean and the beach. The Bay. Yeah, probably leads on to Morecambe Bay. Wow, that place looks incredible. Okay, so time to get our things and then we'll go and explore. Thank you, Jeremy. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh my goodness. What? This looks so nice. Okay, we're going in to check in. Wow. So, <laughs> there's a puppy there. We think this might be the entrance. And then if you look behind us. Wow. Okay, let's go in and have a look. ready just yet but it's nice and warm hence the t-shirt um but I can't believe we're staying here like I literally said in my like get to know me video that we usually stay in like airbnbs and cheap accommodation and cheap food and then we've come to a bloody castle <laughs> that looks insane this is such a treat for me for my birthday so it's lovely isn't it it's a nice change for us to go somewhere a bit posh the inside looks posh so as soon as we can, we'll get to the room and I fancy having to walk around all the posh rooms. Jeremy said there's a library, so we'll try and find that. How lovely though, what a nice surprise. I think we've earned a bit of relaxed time. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't mention that. So I wanted to put on fake nails for my birthday because <clears> it's just something that I quite like doing, just to feel like special and glam. And Jeremy said we're doing something that I can't wear fake nails for. The only idea I've had, well, first of all, I was like, are we gonna go archeology span digging up dinosaurs and he said no you could you could wear nails for that the other idea i had is rock climbing you also say skydiving skydiving i don't want to do skydiving golfing you said also. Go there's a golf club nearby so maybe we're going golfing 
Well, it's a hotel and spa. So I wonder if that's given something away. Well, you could have pegged it out on a spa. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Keep thinking of it. <laughs> Well, yeah. something's happening tomorrow that I can't wear fake <laughs> nails mm. for. I'll let you know tomorrow when I find out. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've just got into the room. Are you going to say hi? No. <laughs> we've just got into the room. It looks so nice. I want to give you a quick tour before we like mess up the bed sheets and put our stuff everywhere. So let me turn the camera around and show you what our room looks like. So we walked in to this surprise. Some Prosecco. What do you call it? but there's a wardrobe, a gorgeous sofa, two chairs, a mirror, there's a huge bed which I don't think you can see how big that is but it's huge. Go on Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Abby>. huge. <laughs> Beautiful wallpaper. I love these lights as well. Show them the lights that like pull out. I love that. Anyway, and then we've got views over the bay so that's going to be beautiful in the morning. I mean it's beautiful now but wow I haven't seen the um, bathroom yet let's have a look in here oh, oh. I might have a bath I never have a bath that looks lovely this is fancy isn't it this is lovely right, let's get pissed <laughs> Are you going to open it? Well, yeah. I'm scared to open them, aren't I? I can't believe you got some bloody Prosecco in as well. Blimey, we're going all out this tonight, aren't we? And we've got dinner. Yeah, and dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow morning. Oh, I hate that. <coughs> oh, God, it scared me. Jeremy, I'm so lucky. You're so lovely to me. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> You're crying. Put the rose in there. Oh yeah. Cheers. To your birthday. Thank you. I love you. So I had a bit of a cry because <laughs> I'm just so thankful that like we're here and we can actually relax and it's something posh for us isn't it this yeah. we don't often do things like this so we're sat in bed drinking some prosecco <laughs> and um we've got a couple of hours until tea so i think i might have a nap because it's nice just to relax isn't it yeah i was saying to jerry like i've not got yeah. to yeah. like worry about going to see my dad i've not got to worry about my grandma or make her a cup of tea or food i've not got to like have the tv on in the background i've not got to worry about youtube or like all these things i've had going on we can just sleep and relax and get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the view. And enjoy the view. <clears throat> yeah. 34 tomorrow. This is one, this is a nice way to, it's a nice way to end the year, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. just had a little sleep and Jeremy vlogged me sleeping <laughs> it looked fake it really wasn't I was fast asleep and for some reason he filmed as I was like scratching my nose but Jeremy has just served me a third glass of Prosecco and we're gonna drink this enjoy the view and then maybe go for a walk but cheers Okay, so we're walking down the corridor and I want to film because there's a huge um, chandelier down here. So this is like the lobby, I guess, of the first floor. And then look at this beautiful chandelier. It's so cool. These gorgeous chairs. Lovely. I love this carpet. Wow. 
this is fancy. Wow, look at that fireplace. Okay, what do we think is down here? Lounge. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is stunning. Look at the lights. Like wooden chandeliers in the ceiling. I think there might be a wedding on, but this looks beautiful. Look at that fireplace. Wowee. So this is the reception of the hotel. Can we walk through this way and have a look? I love all the different chairs and like the blue against the wood colour. What a view. How lovely. This view is insane. I know it's what I showed you earlier when we got out of the car, but it looks so cool. Jeremy's getting some snaps as well. wonder if he's got the best angle, I don't know. So I've just walked down to the water and the train station's in such a cool position. It's like a really old building right next to the water here. So you can see it behind me, but I'm going to flip the camera around and show you properly, but it's beautiful. So this is the Grange Over Sands train station and the train actually runs along like this section here, so along the water. And this is what it looks like. So there's grass, which we thought was sand when we first arrived. And over there is um, Carnforth, Lancaster, Morecambe and the Blackpool Tower, Heesham Power. So that's Heesham Power Station here. Um, we think Blackpool Tower is over there. I don't think you'll be able to see it on this camera, on this video. And then Lancaster, well, it's more crumbs like here, and then Lancaster's around here somewhere. But these colours are lovely, like the grass with the water and the hills in the background. Wow, that's pretty. And there's James. I think we're going to go for a quick walk and then come back for dinner. So just talking about our plan for tomorrow morning, so we're going to have breakfast at 10 past 9 we booked in, have breakfast till about 10 and then maybe come for a walk along the promenade here into town, have a walk round, grab something for lunch and Jeremy said yeah we need something to have energy for the next, for the afternoon and like I said he said about not wearing nails and the only thing I can think of is rock climbing. So I think we're going rock climbing tomorrow afternoon. Because <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of where you wouldn't want nails to like grab onto the rocks. Otherwise, I don't know. But we're just know, enjoying but our walk. Yeah. So. Well, you can say. Yeah. I want to know. I'm you just don't want to tell me. In a few hours. In a few hours? Yeah, morning, yeah. Tomorrow, though, not today, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Just in a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a lovely walk around here, though. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. This is the hotel that we're staying at. How magical. So we're walking in town a little bit. I hope you can hear me over the cars. But we've just found this little park with a little pond. So we thought we'd go down, but this tree is lovely. It's so pretty. I don't know if you're gonna see that because of the light, but there's flowers everywhere, petals everywhere, sorry. So coming down here, this is Grange over Sands. And this is the Grange Over Sands Ornamental Gardens, apparently. And then this way, there's a little pond, which I think is quite cute. They're so strange. I've never seen geese like that before. Oh. Uh. Hi. 
Dramatic, isn't he? Look at how they sleep. I'll wake them up. Oh, but I do love this one. Let me zoom out. I like that view of that building and these pink leaves. Okay, walking back through the gardens the other way, and there's more geese. Who knew I loved geese this much? I had no idea, but they're like half zebra head, half goose. Flamingo. Half flamingo. This one, posing for you. I love that orange feet as well. Tree pose. Good tree pose. Jeremy's proud of you. You can hear him, can't you, down there? I didn't know ducks and geese could make me so happy. <laughs> We saw one earlier as we were walking round up there that had a red beak. Oh, look at that one. Mandarin duck. I'm sure they're called mandarin ducks. These are the female ones. Yeah, maybe. God, they're having a party down here. <laughs> He's not got the stripes on his face. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they're literally having a party. <laughs> okay, they come again. Did you arrange for this for my birthday? <laughs> Did you know that ducks would make ducks and geese would make me so happy yeah, on my well, birthday? Tomorrow they're gonna sing Happy Birthday. Are they? <laughs> they're training Hi. at the moment. They're doing well. I literally had no idea that geese and ducks could make me so happy and I'd film them so much. They're literally alongside us one minute. So they're just swimming alongside us. Why are they so cute? Noisy bastards, aren't they? So this time I don't have my bags full, so I can actually show you a little bit more of the hotel. But that's the outside. Literally looks like a castle. I was saying to Jamie, I think this bit is an extension because it's not quite as dark as this bit. But we think that's the restaurant area. So anyway, time to go back upstairs and finish off at the Prosecco before tea time. So we are back at the hotel room finishing off the Prosecco. I think we've got one more glass each. Um, we did bring, awesome. yeah this is the last glass I mean. Um, we've got a bottle of rose as well that my mum gave me so we've put that in the cold water so I don't know if we'll drink it. <laughs> I don't often drink this much but um, cheers again to my birthday. We're now just gonna sit, listen to music, play some card games before dinner so we'll go do that. room dinner was really really nice it did the service was quite slow like the restaurant wasn't busy and it took us about two hours from like getting there to finishing so it was quite slow but we really enjoyed it um i will have put on screen what we had for, bre for breakfast lunch and dinner i was going to say for starter main course and dessert um i'm trying to be gluten and dairy free i've talked about this in a previous video but i think my main course it said it didn't say it was gluten free so 
might have had a bit of gluten in it and then also for dessert um, there wasn't really any gluten free dairy free options so I had sticky toffee pudding with fudge ice cream I think it was it was delicious so we will see if I have any tummy ache tonight and tomorrow so that'd be interesting to see how I feel but anyway back at the hotel room it's about half nine so I think we might crack open the rosé wine I mean we are celebrating my birthday so maybe crack open the rosé wine play some more cards or get into bed and have an early night so I'm not sure what's gonna happen but either way I will see you in the morning and yeah I still don't know what we're doing <laughs> still don't know but I'm looking forward to it so I'll see you in the morning good night good morning it's my birthday <laughs> um, I woke to the um, song of happy birthday to you because Jerry Reed woke up like two minutes before the alarm was set so put that on instead so we had a bit of a dance in, <laughs> in bed but I woke up I was like oh, what is that and Jerry just started like I was like okay it's meant to it's meant to be happening <laughs> but um yeah I did not sleep well unfortunately like the bed was huge and super comfortable the room was dark it was not too hot or too cold but we and we kind of went to sleep at probably like half ten and I think I was awake at about half one no half two two or half two something like that because I was awake before Jeremy at like 3 a.m got some water so I asked him for some at 4 30 I went to the toilet and I was still wide awake I put a sound bath meditation on I was still awake after that that was half an hour at five so I was kind of awake between maybe two and five um Went back to sleep sometime around five or half five, something like that, and then woken up again now at quarter to nine. So we're gonna get down for some breakfast. Um, I actually feel surprisingly okay considering, I mean, I was hoping for 10 hours sleep. I think I probably got about five or six. So it's still not bad um, and I feel actually fine. Um, so yeah, time for some breakfast. I've answered a couple of messages from friends, which has been nice. Um, Jeremy's friends mostly. <laughs> like three of Jeremy, two of your friends, three of your friends? three of your friends and then one of my friends but um right time for some breakfast I'll quickly show you outside because I like doing that here and it's a little bit overcast today it's a little bit grey so I don't know if it'll be as warm as yesterday so that's the view outside again so it's not um not super sunny and bright but it still looks lovely one minute there we go books and things that are at the house that I've already opened. This was just to have something to open on the day. Mm. It's a card from my grandma. I really like this envelope. It's cute. Aww. Look at my card. A wee yogi. Very appropriate because then Den is launching today. Mm. Oh, Lind. Lind vegan chocolate. Yummy. This one's really heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Nomo, which is this Nomo, like no missing out chocolate. They have this orange flavour and mum bought one the other day and I tried it and I was like, holy shit, that's incredible. Might even be better than um, Terry's chocolate orange and I bloody love that stuff. So I've got my own pack. Oh, it doesn't say. One, two, ten. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Hold dispenser. <laughs> no, no, if you're watching this, feel free to sponsor me. Because I bloody love your chocolate. So, we are out of the hotel and we are going for a walk into Grange Over Sands. It's a little bit colder today, so I've put my scarf on, done my jacket up. Um, ooh, crossing a busy road. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for a walk. So, we're back to walking along the front and you can see how much the water has changed from yesterday. 
like there's more water here and less sand. But we're walking along here and Jeremy's got his drone, so I'm hoping to get some drone pictures of the hotel that we've been staying at and probably some of these landscapes as well because it is beautiful. I think like a top down of this bit here could be cute, could be beautiful. So that's the plan now to fly a drone. Here he is setting it up. He's promised to get me some video footage so I'll obviously be putting that in as well so you can see. all the flowers we're not sure how far it goes I think it goes quite far over there so we'll see but it's lovely so we're still walking down here I'm not quite sure how far we're gonna go maybe we can cross that bridge there and walk through town on the way back but this is where we're at at the moment it's lovely and we started um, I think by that blue thing, right? So I've walked quite far. But this view is lovely. We were saying it would be a great place for dogs and kids. That you can bring your dog out here and chuck the ball and things. So, right, we're going to keep going? Yep. Don't know how far we'll get to, but... As far as we can. As far as we can. <laughs> so, we kept walking and came to this bit, which is a huge old pool which I think they're now going to turn into like um, accommodation or something but that is huge could you imagine like coming here to swim <laughs> first of all it'd be freezing but it looks like they're going to turn it into some sort of like property or something talking about development but yeah that's a fun look into history and what would have been there would you go swimming there Jeremy? I mean in summer if it's hot yeah yeah, I don't think it gets that hot in England. <laughs> so we're still going. We've walked past a mini golf. I think another golf, and then this is like tennis or basket basketball. Oh, don't know if it's good, <laughs> but we're still going. I think we're probably coming towards the end now. But it's lovely, isn't it? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. So this seems like a really nice place for like families, like families with dogs and kids. I think this would be a lovely place to kind of come because you've got the views and the beach and things. But it also seems quite friendly, doesn't it? Like yeah. it's just quite calm and quite small, but yeah, it would be a nice place for kids. Apart from the fact it's in the north of England where it's cold. <laughs> but apart from that, it seems lovely. So we've made it to the end of the promenade. So I think we're down here. And I think we've pretty much started up there where the train station is. So we've walked all the way down this yellow bit. What we're gonna do is walk back to here, get over the bridge, and then walk around this bit, which is like town, and then walk back. So we've still got time, but this is the view at the end. So we're walking up into town, but we're just walking past this building, which I thought was really lovely. And that's obviously got the views as well over there. Right, time to explore town. See if we can find some cute shops to look in.
different but we've just got back to the hotel back to the car and jeremy pulled out our swimming costumes and my swimming costume in his trunks so i was like spa day and he's like yeah but you don't know why you don't need your nails which is true so we are going in the spa but i still don't really know what the surprise is so i don't know how much we might have vlog while we're in there seeing as though it's a spa but um i'll either let you know when we're in there or when we come out so i'll try and film little bits i'll see what i'm allowed to do Okay, so we did a spa day. Um, I showed you a little bit. There was somebody in one of the hot tubs. I didn't want to show you them, but there was um, a hot tub, like a warm tub and then a plunge pool. There was also two steam rooms and a sauna. Yeah. So we got there about two and we thought we'd have, a, we thought we had the first treatment at like 3.15, right? Yeah. So Jeremy was like, so we've got the first treatment this time, second treatment this time, and you're having three treatments. I was like, what? <laughs> <coughs> so we did, uh, we went in at, well, we basically went in at four o'clock and both had a massage. And then I had a facial and a manicure. So it's supposed to, Jeremy said it's supposed to be like two treatments each, but he only really wanted the massage. So I gave me, so gave me two things. So I had... <laughs> A beautiful massage. It was so good. Like she was using, was she using like her forearms on you? I've no idea. Oh, she was like running up and down with her arms and everything. So anyway, the massage was incredible. I was like, oh my god, I'm so relaxed. And then I did, well, she did a facial on me as well. <clears throat> and she did like she put oil on, and then washed it off, and then put a face scrub on, and then washed it off. But using like those mittens, like cloth things, and being like. Must have fun with your face. Yeah, <laughs> she did like so. It was an oil, then a scrub, and then a um, a mask, and left that on for a minute or two. Um, and then she was putting stuff on, and she was like, Whew. like my face is quite. Um, I don't want to touch it too much, but she was like having fun with that. Oh, I forgot to tell you that at one point she was doing down here, like in my neck, and I was like, oh my god, am I? big fat neck there she's doing anyway and then <laughs> and then after that i went and got a manicure and it's a gel nail polish and it's actually really nice because i haven't i've only ever done gel like twice once or twice before is that the stuff that gave you bumps yeah and it's the stuff that gave me bumps so i didn't realize we were doing that but it's not giving me it so that's nice so beforehand i've done this before and i get like a rash around my nail um i think i don't know if it's from the nail polish or from the machine that like cures the nail polish but um, I thought, Do you know what, we'll try it. And it's been fine. And I had a choice of anything that I wanted. So I went for this, like, um, gold, like, bronzy, goldy colour. Um, pink gold. Pinky gold, yeah. I was saying to the woman, I had light, nice long nails last week. And I'd bought fake nails that I was just going to stick on for my birthday. So I was like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <sighs> like, a bit of them all off. And then Jerry was like, you're getting a manicure. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know and I'd have beautiful long nails and I could have done maybe a French manicure but no they're lovely I love that colour so anyway we've had a fantastic time haven't we yeah. it's been so I don't know how much money you spent but it was worth it whatever it was <laughs> I bloody needed it it was so nice to get away and like stay somewhere new I didn't sleep particularly well but it, the bedroom was lovely the food was good wasn't it last night and this morning mm -hmm. we're still full from like, I was full anyway from last night. I had a bowl of cereals and a piece of toast. Jeremy this morning had a big old English, English breakfast. breakfast of everything. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my birthday vlog. I'm sorry, like a bit Happy of birthday. a greasy malt. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so we're going to drive home. I've got some of my lint chocolate that mum bought me for my birthday. I'm going to try a bit of that. Um, <coughs> and that's it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon. Thank you.